due to the secrecy and controversy surrounding President Bola Ahmed Sinubu's academic record and age, Atiku Abubakar has taken it upon himself to file a suit concerning that in the U.S., you know, saying that the Chicago State University should release Tinobo's academic records with them. And now that uh, finally Chicago State University have agreed to review all the credentials, you know, for the first time in the history of uh, Nigeria or the for, or the, for, the, for, the, for the first time, Tinobo made a comment on his Twitter page concerning all of this in a very personal manner and, and Nigerians have been agog. Nigerians have been, you know, leaving different comments about this because we know that Tinobu is Abi Atiku, pardon me, is a well put together person and doesn't just give a statement without actually going through his media aid. But for the first time, this time around, is making a comment concerning that before we go into the details of all of that, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe, turn on the post notification bell, so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up, so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, please leave your opinions in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news is this article nigerians react as former vp attacks president tinobo in rare social media posts former vice president atiku abubaka has questioned president bola tinobo's academic records on social media sparking reactions atiku the pdp 2023 presidential candidate is challenging tinobo's election victory in court and pursuing a case in the U.S. regarding Tinobo's university certificates. The former VP pointed out alleged inconsistencies in Tinobo's academic history, leading to mixed reactions from Nigerians, with some supporting his concerns about political figures' educational backgrounds. Atiku, the presidential candidate, of the People's Democratic Party in the 2023 elections is challenging Tinubu's victory in court. Apart from the election petition, the Adamawa-born politician is also pursuing a case in the United States, in the United States regarding President Tinubu's university certificate. Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar has sparked heated social media reactions as he questioned President Bola Tinubu's academic records in a rare social media post on Sunday, August 27. However, the former VP who used to be an ally of Tinubu had restrained himself from making personal comments against the president until Sunday morning. In the social media post, Atiku took a jibe and the president has is pointed out alleging consistencies in his academic records. The post reads, and I quote, I woke up this morning wondering how we got to these Saudasak. In 1999, Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu claimed the attendance at John's Primary School, Aro Lawyer, Lagos, before proceeding to Children's Home School, in Ibadan. According to him, his next port of call in his academic journey was Government College Ibadan and Richard Daly College and Chicago State University in the United States. Curiously, in 23, Tinobu settled with attending only Chicago State University. I'm scratching my head. How is this possible? I think that all well-meaning Nigerians should be as confused as I am with Tinobu's declaration that he had no primary and secondary education, yet he has a university degree. You may wish to ask Tinobu how he attained this feat so that he can learn from so that we can learn from his ingenuity. The unusual post by the former vice president has attracted heated and mixed reactions 
from Nigerians on social media, surprised by the post, Shafu Adams simply commented, is this article, another person by the name Safiyano says, if you want to know whether he has this certificate or not, declare yours has GCFR and you see the certificate. Tenobo has come to stay as a Nigerian president for the next eight years in Isha'Allah. We pray God grants him the wisdom to lead us and give Nigeria the kind of leadership that could turn things around for good. Who is handling this page? Your primary school and your age are also not adding up. <laughs> all these first generation politicians, you all have, have issues with numbers and schooling. Arewa Queen also commented. Ade Olawale says, we are here wondering likewise how you spent electricity power fund. Can you elucidate, sir? <clears throat> Can you enlighten us, sir? DJ Taiwo says, did you forget to ask him this when he supported and involved in your presidential ambition in the past? Politics is over. It's time for governance. Another person, Suleiman M. Abba, aligns with Atiku in his submission. He said, it's a call for concern. And sometimes I wonder why politicians in Nigeria are always involved in one forgery after another. With all the brilliant brains and minds that we have in Nigeria, we always end up with primary school older or none as president. Where are we getting it wrong? Similarly, Mukaila Rahman says, it's dangerous to continue like this. May Atiku Abubakar succeed? Meanwhile, Newsroom Nigeria earlier reported that Angela Liu, Atiku's lawyer, alleged that Chicago State University provided two similar certificates indicating that President Tinubu attended its institution. Liu said this in response to a submission by Tinubu's lawyers. She said three people signed the first certificate while two individuals signed the order. You all, let me know, have your thoughts in the comment section. Let's continue this conversation over there. Subscribe to this channel, guys, if you haven't. Thank you very much for always watching. I love you all. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.